the Southern Baptist Convention has ousted the congregation for having a female pastor. Take a look. The vote by the convention's executive committee Tuesday made an allusion to Stacy Wood, wife of current lead pastor Andy Wood, in a motion stating that Saddleback has a faith and practice that does not closely identify with the convention's adopted statement of faith, as demonstrated by the church having a female teaching pastor functioning in the office of the pastor. They voted to approve a recommendation that Saddleback be deemed not in friendly cooperation with the convention terminology used for ousting a church a couple of weeks ago i hastily uploaded a video that i made in response to some of the critiques around the at the time big news story that was the quote unquote asbury revival my goal with that video was simply to look at some of the more positive parts of that movement which fostered a specifically high level of engagement from young people and also to poke fun at some of the more negative and silly responses to the movement what I got back from that though, besides a very high amount of traffic from that video, uh, thanks for watching that by the way, is a whole lot of comments about women, specifically women pastors. So you're saying that God's pouring out his spirit all over this and there are women up there preaching and teaching over men, hogwash. The reason why essentially all of the largest mega churches in the country are celebrating women pastors and preachers is quite obvious. Pastors like Joel Osteen, T.D. Jakes, Stephen Furtick, Chad Veach, Judah Smith, Brian Houston, and Andy Stanley believe that the more the church conforms to the cherished values of the culture, the more the culture will accept and perhaps even attend the church. I actually found myself quite stunned by this. Obviously, there are some hardcore conservative evangelical churches that still practice extreme complementarianism, meaning that these churches find the roles of men and women are so different that a woman can't possibly have anything positive to say about scripture that would form a man, some even limiting women from being at their pulpits altogether. But I thought these denominations would be limited in their scope when it comes to YouTube engagement. After all, the primary demographic on YouTube is an awful lot younger than the primary demographic of the people that attend these churches. And yet these morons still came out in droves. It was honestly probably the most commented thing on that video, besides the people that came out to complain that I used the naughty word ass. So that leads me here, and I feel like I need to make this video because of how absolutely dumb these people are. And so that next time when I get these comments on the next video that dares to show a pastor with a vagina, we can just repost this video in the comments and be done with it. Women can be pastors. Women being pastors are in no way unbiblical. If you think that women being pastors is unbiblical, then you are a dumbass. And further, the fact that we even need to entertain this half-hearted conversation is asinine. But let me continue. Here are some verses that tell us women had essential roles in churches, including verses that depict women as essential leaders of these churches. And it's not only these verses, but also we see in John 20, on the actual resurrection of Jesus himself, Jesus chooses women to appear to before and way ahead of any man ever laying eyes on him. And he tells these women to go proclaim to the men what Jesus had told them. And not only that, but if you really believed in scripture in the first place and the calling therein, which states, there are no longer barriers that exist between man-made categories and castes, then you would agree with me anyways. And if you still got through all of these scriptural examples and cannot fathom how Paul telling one single woman that was being distracting in Corinthians 14 to shut the hell up and stop being annoying, and how that does not negate the fact that in the very same letter Paul talks about his fellow ministry leaders who are women, and therefore women do have a place in ministry because they are just as smart as men and God has specifically called them into ministry just the same as any man, then honestly, I do not know what to tell you except the following. If you do not believe that women can serve in your church, if you do not believe that women can preach in rooms full of men, if you do not believe that women preaching is biblically sound, then you are a dumbass. And in Jesus' name, fuck off. That is all. But thanks for watching. You're still welcome to subscribe. <laughs> thanks, guys. Love you all. But seriously, please stop talking to me about it. I really don't care. Your opinion doesn't matter. It's not valid. It's not correct. And I don't care. Please go away. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. And goodbye. Thanks for watching.